Where is the UK in life sciences? I think we're in a very good spot. What I find with the UK is that we are a lot, uh, a lot more cutting edge than many other countries are. So I think we're a large economy. And as a large economy, sometimes people punch a little bit below their weight. And I don't believe that that's where we are. I think we tend to have um, very cutting edge diagnostics. So what that means is that as new tests come through, we're very quick to implement those and get the patient benefits out of them. When it comes to research, we're very enterprising. So we tend to find out the areas where there are gaps and we build, uh, build new testing and new, uh, new research according to those. So we do extremely well um, and a lot of spin outs from academic labs as well. So what that means is that we turn these into companies and into, into products that we can provide out to the greater marketplace, which is, you know, of course, great for the economy as well. How significant are we? Well, I think very, I think as a Manchester based company, what we've been able to do is, is, is really build into a global company um, based out of, you know, what isn't the largest market in the UK? We tend to, people tend to think about the South being a little bit bigger, but what we're getting these days is Manchester, Leeds, Liverpool, across to Newcastle, which is where I live. Um, there's a lot, a lot of companies that are, that are basing themselves and building out from here. And um, I think the ability of people to move between these towns in the north, I think is, is really providing a good, and as well as strong universities, really providing a good foundation from which we can all build out. I think it's one of the many things that are going to be key to the leveling up agenda. I think transport, of course, we all know and talk about that quite a lot. But certainly, I think if you can build businesses here, you can attract staffing, uh, you can attract funding. And I think that will help to bring up the standards across the north. The best proposition is having, I think, strong um, universities, strong spin outs from these. Um, where you can really start creating new businesses. Uh, and I think it's also really important to be able to um, bring people from different sites together and, and create these um, central places where everyone can park themselves because it, the more scattered people are, the harder it is to do this. Well, that's the tricky one. How can they be more complementary than competitive? I, it's a really tricky one because to an extent there are different um, there are similar overlapping themes that you tend to see a lot. Um, and researchers fight each other, companies fight each other. Um, I'm not really, I'll be honest, I'm not really sure how you can completely avoid competition in that way. So to an extent, you just need to be, um, you need to be focusing on what is niche and what is new um, and not trying to um, revisit the wheel that's already been taken up by other people.